Hey guys, Slanish Devotee here, coming back at you. Uh, this time I am trying out Black Crusade cards, and there's Apoca cards mixed in here together. So we're doing Ragnar with both. Uh, I'm playing against the Maximum Maximus, guy named Stanley, who's uh, been watching this, my videos for a long time. It's really cool to be able to play him. Giving Subject Omega a go with the Mal Scepter, pretty, pretty good combination there. Uh, this is going to be an interesting ambushy uh, hunty sort of game. Uh, let's see, win conditions for everything by then. Uh, and a couple of interesting options. Alright, I'm going to mulligan as well. I, I don't want to have the predator straight away. So, uh, that's good, that's good. That's alright, those are good. Alright, these are all perfectly reasonable. Cool. Alright, uh, how much are these guys? These are two, so I'm probably going to do all three of these um, as my first turn. It's the closest thing to command I have in my Ragnar deck. Uh, back in the day I played Ragnar um, quite a lot to start with. Uh, just the idea of using a Space Wolf uh, and going hunting people. It's fantastic. Okay, so sorry about that. Um, I'm first, and so... Let's see, I'm thinking, these guys are the best things to put down first, I think. So, Planum's a good, obvious starting position, bit of everything, and he, I can pull him when I need him. So that's fine. Let's get infesting straight away. Uh, Karnath's obviously a good choice for him. I actually kind of need more resources. Um... Cards isn't as big a deal. So I think I'll put this one down for a bit of resources because I've got a very expensive deck. It's not the cheapest lot of stuff. Although I kind of want to dig for cards so you can see the Apoca and Black Crusade cards mixed in together here. Oh yeah, well that makes it really somewhere I want to take Ragnar really. Possibly pull at least one over. Um, do I want to put them there? don't think I do. I'll put them on the first planet, see if I get the first planet out of it. Alrighty. Yep, and I'm done also. And I think I'm going to go to the second planet. It's worth stopping them anyway. Uh, I've got initiative to run away if I'm really worried. I think that's, that's my choice. And I'm not sure where he's going to be sending. Uh, subject Omega just yet. Um, probably. Could be Planet 1. Could be Planet 2 to try and ensure he gets his resources. But it could be Planet 1 to try and win that resource. Let's see if I can get that. I can have a win condition down the line here, which is alright. Um, if he gets there, he can have a win condition at the same planets potentially, so interesting having a couple of tricolors early on um, makes it likely to be a quicker game Ragnar, I feel like I kind of like it to be a bit longer get a chance of narrowing where he's going to go alright oh yeah, plan him, yeah fair enough, move things around Alright, so I get that one, and that one, and that one, and I will pull him away. Because I don't want him to get killed for no reason there. Cool. Am I right for that? Warlord commits, yep. Alright. Alrighty, what have we got? Uh, Frostfang, which is nice. Another tactical squad. Wolfguard Veteran, Black Crusade card. Gains mobile if you control space wolves at an adjacent planet. So that's pretty good to just chuck around and... Well, I suppose I can move them to where the warlord is, so the warlord would pull them anyway. Alright, let's see. 
any actions, I have no actions, he has no actions, so I will trigger. Alright, simple enough. Sport and air, oh, yeah, he's going to be a little annoyed about that, I think. I think that's something you want in the Infest Heavy Omega deck. That's alright. Alright. Okay. Is he going to ambush anything in? Okay. That's the main thing I want dead. I don't want him getting bonuses. destroyed ready an army, Space Marine's army unit. Okay, so I can't really rag now when he kills the Sentinel. That's alright. I'm going to hold on to that for a little while. Could become a nice threat with Ragnar. But Subject Omega doesn't need to be in the battle, so... Yeah. That makes it easier for Omega. Simple start with the tactical squad there. I feel like that was reasonable. Um, hmm. Hmm. Let's see what he does. Alright, he let it die. I'm happy with that. Now, he's likely to kill them. Oh, interesting. Very interesting. Alright, so what's he going to bump it to? It's paying two. No, it's paying one. attack. Plus two attack. Done. Okay. So he's hitting for four. How long does that last? Till the end of the phase. I think I'm going to use it here just to surprise him. Gives me a little bit of an extra oomph on him. Ooh. Plus one. Plus two HP. That's alright. Okay. So he's got four HP. Okay. It's one damage. As long as I can do one more damage, he'll die uh, at the end of the combat phase. So I'm happy with that. I will both stay. Now, at the end of the combat phase, you will die if you take one more point of damage. Oh, he's staying. Interesting. Okay, no actions. if you kill my sentinel now so I'll have taken out the Yimgawa factor there as well as the Hormigans yep that's fine take one more damage because you'll die later that's fine no worries at all okay are you going to kill them off or are you going to try and hurt my ward I'm assuming you're going to kill them off that's fine I don't mind dying there I may as well swing at them. 
see if I can win this. He's got rid of both his signature events, hasn't he? So he can't steal my units from me, that's nice. You gonna let it die now and just let it go, or are you gonna stick around? Because it dies either way. He's gonna let it go. But he can't. Oh no, he's got nothing he can. Um, got not enough resources to gene steal her in. Okay, heal. Uh, oh well. Put him up on the first planet then. Or what will be the first planet. Cool. Yep, I'm happy enough with that. That's cool. That'll do. Alright. Oh, just wait. Confirm. Is he done? Cool. And let's see what we get. Here we go, the first APOC card I've included in here. Aerial Deployment. Now that could be very interesting. Okay, so... Um, oh, 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 wow, that's nice. Very, very nice. Okay. Uh, my turn. Um, Space Wars unit, I don't have a Space Wars unit, unless I've got the Wolfguard Veteran. I want to get him in for free, but I want him to have Mobile. Hmm. Um, okay, so I need to think about this really carefully. What can I put in? I put in two, three costers. Might have to save that as a shield for now. If I put in... If I put him on planet two, and him on planet one, him on planet one, and then I go to planet one, I can always pull over the veteran if I need it. Yeah, okay. I don't think pausing and waiting for him to go and getting my one extra, I don't think it was going to make much difference. Uh, so, here we go. So I can go to one, and if he comes to one, I hit him harder and I can pull over the veteran. But it's unlikely. Gains my he can actually go to planet two, even if I'm at planet one. Cool. Alright. Sorry, bang the table there. So I think I'm in a pretty strong position to get the first planet at least. Um, and hopefully that'll start setting me up to get a couple of the next two. But we'll have to kind of see. And if he's in the wrong place, I can always move him down the line to be ready for planet one mobiling over as well. Alright, let's see. I'm going to planet one. Five and four. Selling, staying way well from me. All right. So I get those two, and he gets those two. Yep, those are good starts. He hasn't got his uh, infest going on, which is good for me. Oh, it's paused. There we go, it's kicked in. All right. Uh, trapped objective. Ooh, attached to a non-first planet. Okay, that's interesting. Black Lane's Hunt is also quite interesting. Alright, I'm going to... Mobile. And I'm going to move on there. Because it doesn't say he has to go to the adjacent planet. Uh, planet 1, I'm done.
now. I could send it to Alworth. Hmm. Would it be worth sending to Alworth? It could take at least one swing and hit back. And then I could actually shield it and hit him again. So I could hit him for eight. I think I will. I think I'd be mean about it. Well, not mean, but like rough. Alright. Okay. Because it's not infested either. So I'm a bit of an advantage there. Interest about this, how can I use this non-first planet? So keep him away from first planets. Better in the last, like, three planets, I think. Alright. Is he going to swing at me or just run away? He's just going to run away. Fair enough. Okay. Uh, and I'm assuming he's done. Check if he has anything else there. Cool. And trigger. Right. So much type three. Oh, primal howl. I think it's good for the shields at least. So I think I'll go for that. Right. Okay. Feeling good. Got some good options so far. If I can get one or two of the next planets, I'm in really solid position. I've got the veterans there, which is really nice to set them up. I'm all good. Alright. Where do we go next? Uh, oh, oh, can't quite afford him. Um, uh, let's see. I'll put them on the first planet, so if he does go there I can drop the Predator. And they can pull over him if need be. Uh, but I could possibly use that now to do it. Um, so I want to put down a three cost unit, just about really. Um, hmm. Okay. If I use Aerial Point to put them on the first planet, I can bring the Predator in if I need him. If I go there, I can go Black Man's Hunt to one of those places if I need to. Actually, I can go here. I can go here, I can go here and pull that over if I need it. Or either of the other places. So if I go there, and I commit there, I will have all of the places. I think that's good. And I have the initiative as well. I almost could have, could have ignored that. Uh, I don't mind that. I don't mind that. And is he done? Oh, he's not. That's alright, I'm going not going to that planet. Is 
be done now. I would assume he hasn't got many other things he can do. Now obviously this is two separate fan card sets that are both happen to be an octagon and they're not designed to play together. Um, but I'm um, do you think it's too much? Do you think I'm going over the top? Do you think it's more than it should be? Or do you think it's tough but not too bad? Okay. I'm going to plan it <laughs> four. Right, so theoretically I think he has no good places to go. If he goes to any of these three, I can black man's hunt and be working with that or that or pull that over in any of those. If he goes there, that's just fine. It's not the end of the world. If he goes there, I'm dropping a predator on him. So, let's see what happens. I'm going to four, five, and four. Okay, so, black wings hunt. Move over here. And then... Primal how draw three cards. Uh, draw three for Primal how and win command. Yeah, so he's got a bunch of stuff there. That's going to hurt. Now, does he have a riddle? I have a radio, so that's okay. And I have a crushing blow, potentially. Let's see. Alright. Oh, he's got big and nasty, though. Oh, and... And... Which isn't the end of the world, it's just, ah, uh, could have been helpful. Um, destroyed by an attack there, so I haven't got anything that can ready him at the right time. Uh, let's see. Hmm. That could be a useful thing. It's an action. I could move him where I need him to be. Uh, I might mobile them over actually as well. Yeah, I think I will. Let me get to that point. It's quite neat. These veterans are quite sneaky. I quite like it. Aerial deployment. I don't know if the aerial deployment made a huge difference. Okay. So we avoided that ping, which is a nuisance, but that's okay. Uh, mobile. Alright. Real. Got no action. And mine. Alright. I wish I had my drop pot assaults. I know I've got them in here somewhere. I'll have to dig and see where they are. Alright. Done, done, done. I'm 
probably should have swung Ragnar, but oh well. Doesn't matter, really. Oh, but he can hurt me. Save the crushing blow until I know it's gonna actually bloody him. Oh, he runs. Fair enough. There's no radial left, so I'm happy about that. That's okay. Um, okay. He's got enough to ambush something on me quite nastily, though, so this could be nasty. Yimgarl or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, there it is. Oof. Oof. Okay. So it hits for six. <laughs> uh, I will definitely drop vengeance on it. Okay. I knew it was coming though, you know. I was like, yeah, that's going to happen. <laughs> and blow to kill it. Okay. Stay both. Hopefully I'll be able to kill it with a crushing blow. It's a good question. Presumably he's thinking about shields. Alright. My planet. Um, I don't think I'll bother routing anything. I don't bother routing anything. I don't want him to have, like, another body to use, you know? <laughs> you know, I don't want him to have one more hit point that I have to chew through, you know? Alright. There we go, a drop pot assault. Ooh, and an aerial deployment. Very helpful. Okay. So, any planet now wins me the game. I might as well try and get that first planet. So... Um... Can't afford to put him down. Uh, I might just put a lone wolf on that first planet as, as body. 3-3... Uh, three, three. Three. I could put these two bodies down, which might be more helpful. Um, he's going to be able to join me. He'll be there, but not that useful. If I put down these two, I've got one resource and oh, no others, so I can't use the drop pod. Just pop them on this planet and pull them over. Okay, so I'm hoping to get between that, that, or that enough money to play my drop pod as well and just smash whatever he can put on this first planet. Although that STC fragment, a bit worrying, as he got a, uh, 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 what's that burrowing thing? I can't remember what that burrowing trigon? No, it's not trigon. Burrowing... I can't remember. Okay, shrieking happy. <sighs> Ooh. I've lost my vengeance as well. Combat. Hmm. Do I want to? Hmm. Do I still want to go there? Um. I 
editing effects are no good right now. Hmm. Tricky stuff. Do I want to wait a turn and see if that makes it easier for me to set up? Actually, that's a good idea because I can set him up there. Uh, I can mobile him. Well, I can't mobile him off, actually. I can't. <laughs> um, well, I might hold on to my resources and things. Actually, that could be more useful now. Because I can move the blankets. I might just pop him out. I'll hold on to it. I'll hold on to it all. I don't need any of it now. Alright. That's fine then. Be like that. We'll just go to Planet 2 instead. Oh, he hasn't got it infested though. Um, so maybe he wasn't going to be able to infest it. Oh, I could Maybe I could have made it then. Uh, it's alright. I'm happy with that. Is there some way he can... Oh, well, he's got predation, doesn't he? Predation's an option. So that could have been what he was going to do there. Alright. That's fine. That means if he wants to bring in the harpy to plan him, he will need to send his warlord there, and I will be able to get him my predator for free. I can use my teleporter to bring him over. And these guys will be set up. Got lots of options. Lots of options. Really good. Okay. Oops. Still thinking on a synapse. bloody this guy. Uh, so you do one damage, and then I'll crush and blow. So you bloodied. Perfect. Okay. Alright, so we have some options. <laughs> Fair enough. No, this really hurts for me. You think that ECL cards, A pocket cards, are too much together? Ah, yeah, without the chimney, that's rough. Alright, well, I'm going to have a bit of a chat with them. I'd love to hear what you think about pulling off this combination and see what you think. Catch you next time.